What Can You Do With a Rock? by Pat Zeitlau Miller, illustrated by Katie Kath. I don't know about you friends, but I am definitely a rock collector. Look at all of these beautiful rocks. We have garnet and rose quartz, turquoise, opal, amethyst, citrine. And let's read this book to find out all of the wonderful things that we can do with a rock. Some people don't notice rocks. They walk by, head in the air, hands in their pockets, missing the magic underfoot. Here we have a beautiful rock. Other people see those remarkable rocks and appreciate them. After all, you can do a lot with a rock. You can kick it off your porch, down your driveway, around the block, Notice how it hops in front of you, showing you where to go. You can skip it. First, find a flat, thin rock. Next, find a pond or stream. Then, flick your wrist, hold your breath, and hope. Your first tries might sink straight to the bottom. See all of the other rocks. But eventually, your rock will skip one, two, three times. And that's a marvelous thing. You can drop it. Clink, clink, clunk, clatter. Uh-oh, there's a raccoon in that trash can. How many sounds can your rock make? It's fun to find out, but always look before you let go. Oh, that raccoon does not look happy. He's going to have a bump on his head. No one wants to get hit by a rock. To really have fun with rocks, you need more than one. Fortunately, you can find more from a beach, the woods, or your driveway. Some rocks are for anyone to take. Others need to stay where they are. So take the rocks you can, admire those you can't, and know this, there will always be more rocks to see. Once you have a pile of rocks, you can do so much more. You can sort them by their color, shape, size, or how they make you feel. Look at all of these beautiful rocks. This friend has quite the collection. It's very amazing. Should your tiny white rock go with other tiny rocks, with other white rocks, or with other rocks that make you smile? Only you can decide and the fun thing is, friends, you can change your mind, too. One day, a rock can be sorted with how it makes you feel. The next day, it can be sorted with color or size. You can study them in a museum, your school, or a wide open field. Rocks show where glaciers traveled, when volcanoes roared, and what plants or animals lived long ago. Want to conduct an experiment? See how many rocks you can stack on your hand or your knee. Love your rocks. Listen to them. Learn their stories. Here we have amber with a bug inside of it. We have all of these. This is a trilobite fossil. Such amazing rocks. You can change them. You can build bridges with rocks or make a beautiful mosaic. So here's the bridge. Here's a mosaic, which is little pieces glued together. Piece by perfect piece. You can even decorate yourself with rocks by making a necklace or a ring. Want to really rock the boat? Turn your rocks into frogs or fairies or fish. Here's a frog, a fish. All you need is your imagination. You can keep them. Some rocks are perfect. Maybe they remind you of somewhere or fit your hand just right. They calm you when you're scared and wait patiently while you think. Don't kick, skip, or drop those rocks. Keep them close by. And here she has a box that says memories. Best of all, you can share them. Tell someone about your perfect rock. Explain where you found it, how long you've had it, why you like it, then let that person tell you about their best rock. This might take a while. Choose your friend carefully. People 
are like rocks. Some sparkle right away, while others seem ordinary at first, but have treasure deep inside. Don't miss their magic. Don't walk by with your head in the air and your hands in your pockets. Hear your friend's story. Share theirs. And then find some more rocks and make new stories together. So they're at the beach. They're looking at all these beautiful rocks. Kick, skip, drop, kerplunk. And here's some information about some rocks. We have igneous. It says these rocks form when melted rock cools and hardens. This melted rock is called magma when it's inside the earth and lava when it's on the earth's surface. Granite, pumice, and obsidian are examples of igneous rocks. So that's, that's granite, that's pumice, and that's obsidian. Sedimentary. Right here, these rocks form layers of sand, silt, shells, or plants. Shale, sandstone, and limestone are examples of sedimentary rocks. And then we have metamorphic. These rocks are made from other rocks that change with heat and pressure underground. Slate, marble, and gneiss are examples of metamorphic rocks. And so it says keeps your, keep your rocks organized. And so if you like rocks, you might want to start a rock collection there are many ways to do this. If you want to keep it simple, you can gather rocks that you like, keep those rocks safe and admire them. And then here's some, it says you can do some research. You can get a book to help identify rocks. They have books at the library to help with that. You can label them. And then you can learn more about rocks and there's lots of books out there. So go ask your local librarian for help with finding those books. And I hope you enjoyed this information about rocks. Don't forget to subscribe for more Goodreads for Kids.